Welcome back everybody, today I'm here to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 Episode 1. Such a great episode, it was the premiere, we got thrown into this new world, we got a Rick Grimes easter egg, so much awesome stuff that we're going to discuss in this video today. Before I do begin though, if you haven't seen the episode, go check it out and then come back to this review, but with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so the Rick Grimes easter egg I think is what everybody wants to talk about. I'm not going to lie, I low-key freaked out the moment I saw that symbol. Um, I mean that was awesome. They did say we're gonna slowly get we're gonna learn about what happened to Rick And now we have the similar symbol that was on the helicopter and Al found this map with that symbol So that is that's freaking awesome. We're gonna get to that in just a minute though I want to discuss the entire episode obviously so we're gonna start from the beginning um, The opening minutes I discussed in a different video uh, But my quick thoughts in the opening minutes. I really liked it I thought it was a great way to start out the episode because we got to learn about the new character characters um, and then also the plane crash is what everybody's been talking about really all spring you know since they dropped the uh, trailer so it was awesome how they started off with that moment um, and yeah the, the first sequence was a great action sequence and I did enjoy that there was a lot of great moments in the opening sequence um, you know when Alicia came out of the, sm uh, the smoke and started killing the walkers Alicia was definitely my favorite part about the episode we'll talk more about her throughout the review but I really did like what they did with Alicia in this episode uh, and there was like a little little stuff here and there that I really enjoyed like I, li I liked how Morgan was like Really like super nice to the kids and like he was like not even like fully awake yet He just woke up from this accident and he's like pushing the kids aside to help them from the walkers Like I just like that little moment there I don't know why I wrote it down because I just like that for some reason um, I also like the little trap that Alicia set uh, to kill the walkers that whole opening sequence uh, Yeah, it was really well done, you know with the plane crashing and all the walkers and I just thought it was a great way to start the season So, you know when when the season of the walking dead starts out with something like that I have like my hopes are pretty high and I'm pretty excited for what's to, to come because you know starting off a season I think is very important because you wanna you want your viewers to watch the rest of the season so I thought that was an awesome start to the season I also liked how they just threw us into the world you know they didn't like spoon feed us exactly what was going on and I think it was a good move because I was I was questioning what was going on like I was curious as to what the hell happened since the last time we left like these guys just crashed into a helicopter or an airplane and or, you know and talking to some guy named Logan like we didn't really know what was going on and it's a good thing actually because that's a good way to make the viewers intrigued into what was happening instead of just like spoon feeding every little thing to us so um, I thought it was a good I thought it was a good premiere um, you know it set up a lot of good things that hopefully will get answered later on in the season uh, but definitely a great start to the season uh, things did get a bit slower when they got to the truck stop um, you know it, which I guess isn't like it wasn't bad or anything there was a couple moments in there that I just kind of um, dismissed because it does happen quite frequently in The Walking Dead like you know when the kids were against Morgan's group and the girl started acting up and she's like no we're not gonna be with you guys and they left that was kind of like predictable because that really happens a lot in The Walking Dead you know characters new characters never agree with older characters and they want to do their own thing and they don't trust them so that's just something we've seen a lot in The Walking Dead and same thing with the Alicia and Morgan moment like I did like that moment um, you know, the two, that was like a, a, I think a sneak peek we got earlier this spring. And I, I did like the moment, but again, it's just something we've heard before where they're having a tough time and Morgan, you know, has to step it and then, you know, tell them that life is supposed to be hard and, you know, just kind of pushing the group forward. That, that kind of stuff, like, you know, it, it's nice to see, I guess, because we haven't seen these characters in a while. But if you look back and doing the great, uh, you know, great scheme of things in The Walking Dead, those are moments we've seen a lot before. I did like Logan his character um i thought his introduction was pretty cool um he seems like i think they he seems like an interesting character and i think they brought on a good actor for him um i, I did like you know he he carried himself pretty well so I, I did like that um and then also i liked how when he was talking to morgan they showed what was happening with sarah and wendell and strand and them at the same time uh, i i thought that was really well done and interesting um i i am curious as to seeing if like if logan's gonna be connected with Rick Grimes and that group that took him the helicopter group because it does look like it may be a little bit different uh, 
we know Logan is connected to Polar Bear with the Clayton and uh, Logan thing, but we'll see. I do think he is going to be connected. He definitely has like a villain vibe to him, um, which I, again, I think the actor did a great job with the character and I'm excited to learn more about him. Also, it was really cool to finally see Daniel. Um, we saw him on the tape. I thought that was a great reveal. And it looks like Althea has had a connection with almost everybody, like even uh, Abraham and Eugene it looks like because last season we saw their name on the tape. So, I mean, Althea is a very interesting character who's had an interesting past because of this whole journalist, um, you know, character she is. And, you know, she has all these tapes and I, I want to see all of them, really. So I, I just really hope they explore Althea more. Like, um, I know she's been there for like over like a full season because she got introduced in the first episode of season four. Uh, but I just want to learn more about her because she's definitely interesting. And I think she's going to be like, I think like uh, she seems to be like one of the characters who most likely will be in The Walking Dead for a while. Like, let's say if Fear The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead ever merge. Like, I could definitely see Althea, um, you know, going to The Walking Dead. And she just has a super uh, interesting and intricate past that I want to learn more about. And I love how she has a connection with Daniel, too. And then speaking of Althea, we saw what happened at the end of the episode where she found that walker. Um, so it looks like this group, they have these uh, suits that are very um, thick because we saw... Um, Althea was trying to kill one and you know it was really hard to get through that suit so these are very like thick suits possibly the group that's doing experiments on walkers because that definitely seems to be a suit that would protect you but anyways uh, that one walker was dead and Althea went through the map and we saw this symbol that was on the helicopter for Rick and I was so excited when I saw that it was awesome so it definitely looks like the group that took Rick the helicopter group this is that group that took him and this is almost like the prequel of that group we're gonna learn about them and it's gonna be awesome because it looks like we're gonna fully get like they're gonna really flesh out this group because we're gonna get the prequel almost in the Fear the Walking Dead series and then uh, obviously in the Rick Grimes movies where, where we're gonna learn more about them so it's gonna be awesome to see how, um, how they became who they are and we might even get to see the person Jadis was discussing because if this is that community which it does look like again um, you know they're the ones like in a couple of years they're gonna be the ones who take Rick so that's like just thinking about that is so awesome so um, I, I'm excited to learn more about them I mean all spring we've been hearing that you know the Fear the Walking Dead will have a connection or a Walking Dead story will continue on Fear the Walking Dead and right from the first episode we learn about it and this symbol is all over um, you know Know, this map and then they also have this I don't know what that is in the site but they have like uh, this symbol on the corner so obviously that symbol is kind of like maybe their community symbol you know like how the kingdom has one um, in Alexandria and the hilltop how they built one we saw all their symbols in the fair this is like a symbol for that group so um, yeah, I mean they have they have that symbol on a helicopter, which is insane And then at the end there we saw that Althea got knocked out uh, by whoever is part of that community and that's interesting because you know this community is definitely militarized and I don't know if it's gonna be the same community as Logan's community It might be different uh, and I have a feeling it may be different I don't know we'll have to wait and see and I think you know adding two groups in the in the fear of the walking dead wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing because they're not gonna fully tell us everything about the helicopter group because obviously that's gonna be we're gonna wait for the Rick Grimes movies and learn more about them. Uh, so having two groups um, in C season five of Fear, I don't think it'll be a bad idea because they'll definitely like spice things up and make it interesting. And you know, there 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 won't be like a boring moment. You know, uh, like let's say it's been a couple episodes since we've seen one community. Um, you know, if it's some other community is just as interesting or more. That's not gonna. That's gonna be a good thing for them because I think what the goal in season nine of The Walking Dead did this really well. Like the entire season was exciting from beginning to end. So hopefully the same thing happens with Fear and there are no slow moments. I'm still like kind of shocked that we got that symbol in the first episode. That was awesome. And you know, um, ho hopefully we get some announcements soon because they did say that after Fear or after uh, you know we see what happens in Fear, uh, we might have to wait like a couple more episodes. But you know. 
they say like so, during the summer we're gonna have a bunch of announcements. So uh, any announcements we get about the Rick Grimes movies? Because they also did say that some updates are coming soon. Um, it, I I can't wait to hear any updates for the Rick Grimes movies. I'll definitely be making a video on it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions about this episode and you know the helicopter and the symbol and the Rick stuff. Uh, what do you guys think about that? What do you think is going on with this community? Who do you think is behind that mask? Is it somebody? Do you think it's the person talking to Jadis or somebody maybe we've known before? Let me know in the comments down below. But uh, overall, to wrap up, my I mean, this episode I really enjoyed. I thought the first uh, like the se opening sequence of this episode was amazing. Really, that's a great way to start a season, throwing us into this world and uh, just executing it really well. Like it was nothing out of this world, but just the way they did it was really awesome. Um, and then it did get a bit slow, uh, which I, I didn't mind because they had to b have some world building with the Logan stuff. So I get that. And then that end was just killer. I I'm excited for it. So I am going to wrap it up there for this review. Let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions. I have a breakdown for the episode 2 trailer coming out uh, either later tonight or tomorrow morning. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And for more of you to walk in there and walk in there videos, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>